Welcome to Click Embed in Action video, where we are going to see a demo on how to use the new Click Embed library thanks to some embedded analytic example. What you can see on my screen now is an example of a web application we created that acts as a solution where we embedded click capabilities using the different embedding strategies available. Let's start from the classic app. That's the click embed UI type to embed the whole ClickSense client experience, including all the menus, all features like notes, inside advisor, and sheet editing. I can apply some selection to every single object, and I can see them on top thanks to the selection bar. By right clicking on a chart, we have available the full menu items from where we can create also data alert to be informed about some trends in the data. It is further more possible to create notes and to interact as well with Inside Advisor, where, thanks to the custom analysis available, we can create, for example, a K means clustering algorithm that can group the state dimension by orders and sales. We can navigate to different sheets, and in case the user is entitled to create content, we can enable the cell service by customizing an existing sheet or create a new one from scratch. To perform this type of integration with Click Embed is really simple, since it's enough to add in the body of the HTML file a Click Embed tag where we set the UI attribute to Classic App, indicating to Click Embed that we want to embed the whole Click user experience. Let's move on now to the analytics chart section, where we can see together how it's possible to embed a click visualization object as a standalone component in one of the div tags of the HTML page. Even in this case, the type of integration is really simple. Since click embed is standardized in the way different integration strategies work, by reusing the same click embed tag, but with different parameters. Since the UI type now is called analytics chart, and the needed parameter are the app ID and the object ID we want to render. Analytics chart data is the third embedding strategy I'm showing in this demo, and refers to the data-only approach, where the data is showed as a raw HTML table. Here, the integration is a bit more complex, since to retrieve the hypercube with the dimension and measure we want to display, we need to do a call to the backend service of the web applications, which is calling the engine APIs in order to retrieve the hypercube from the data model of the app itself. No click and bad tags are needed to perform the data only integration. In addition to the single chart, we can embed also the list of value of a dimension in order to use it as a filter for the data we analyze in our web application. To embed the list box containing the list of values of a dimension, it's sufficient to use the UI type field and to pass the app ID and the field ID you want to display. Let's move on to the single sheet integration strategy, where thanks to the UI type analytics sheet, we can render a sheet from a click application where all the visualizations are nebula.js chart. It's possible to get the list of sheets as well thanks to the call to our backend that is using Click APIs to perform this action and gives back the sheet list to the frontend to give the user the possibility to iterate between the different sheets of the app. Furthermore, since this integration doesn't offer the possibility to embed the selection bar, we can embed it as a single integration object in the same HTML page using the dedicated tag. Last but not least, we have recently made available Classic Chart, that is a new UI for click embed to render single visualizations that have not been converted yet to Nebula.js, or which use the Classic Extension API. To conclude this demonstration part, let's see how to add Click Embed to your web application in order to be able to reuse the Click Embed tags. Connecting to Click Embed when you use the web component implementation requires adding a script element in the head tag. 
The attributes of discrete element are a mix of standard and specific attributes relevant to the connection you choose. The source attribute is the URI location for the click embed web component library. The data host attribute is the host name of the click cloud tenant or click client managed server, while the click client ID, data get access token, and data out type are related to the authorization strategy I chose for this demo, but can vary depending on the use case. Hope the demo was good and that allow you to have a clear understanding regarding the multiple different integration strategies that our new embedding library can offer you. In this video, we did uncover the single sign-on authentication topic. You can take a deeper dive into it by watching the other videos available on the subject. Thanks for watching.